Hello and welcome to Lucky Sweetheart Vintage, where kitsch comes to play and fabulous finds are around every corner. Today I have for you an estate sale haul, and um, I have under 10, I don't, I don't know exactly how many, um, really awesome vintage aprons to show you. So this is going to be a really awesome, pardon me, it's going to be a really awesome haul, and I'm so excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. Now, about the so price. I have do that. this gorgeous one. I like everything from the lace to the the other pattern, just so cute in my mind. This one has a couple of little stains on it, but um, I think I'll be able to get them right out. See? A couple stains. But it's so cute, and I love the lilac. Reminds me of like a Laura Ingalls Wilder, like, um, what was that show that she was in? Little House on the Prairie. Oh my God, I love this one because this was made for a big girl. This is made for a big woman. This fits on me now. I could actually show it to you. And like, that looks nice on me. I really like that one. Um, cute patterns that this this woman had. I really enjoy her patterns. It's another cute one. So she obviously used this pattern quite a few times and incorporated different uh, pattern, sorry, pattern, and she incorporated it into different materials. She used different materials. This is another big girl one. So I like this. It's got a couple stains on it, but it's nice nonetheless. But yeah, that's really cute, right? So I'm going to model this one for you as well, just to show you that the big girls can wear vintage aprons, believe it or not. You see? I like it on me, to be honest. Let's get into the rest of them. This one, I feel like it needs a little something, like it needs like some sort of a patch or something on it, but this one is cute. Let's see? Like, I feel like it needs like, like an embroidered initial on it, or maybe a couple of poodle stamps. Oh my God, that would be adorable. That would be cute. That's like the, the apron that Jojo got with the cute little poodles on it or the cute little Shih Tzus on it on her Instagram page. And this is, oh, this is a cute country one. Again, I think the big girls could wear this. Not actually, not really because of this, but Oh my God, so cute. Look at this, look at the, look at the, you know, the spin on this. That is a cute apron. That's a cute apron. Okay, now, the last apron that I have to show you is actually from another haul. So this was a, a different amount of money than the others, but this is a reversible. vintage apron. Isn't that cute? So this side is kind of like a merry flower field. And this side is a merry flower field, but it's got like a panel of lace on it. So cute. Oh my God. I love that. And I just wanted to show you the kind of difference between like a vintage um, apron and a repro. And I totally prefer the vintage apron because usually these vintage aprons were handmade. They were made with uh, materials from back in the day. And well, uh, this is another um, apron that's in my Etsy shop and it's really well made. It's really cute and it's a modern day repro. But there's just something about those patterns that I love. Like I love this pattern. Reminds me of like a Sicilian lemon or something. 
but um, there's just something about the vintage. So I just wanted to show you. This is a repro. This is a really cute repro, though. So that's all okay, I so have. You guys want to know how much I paid for everything. First up, this awesome, the reversible one. This one um, I bought at an estate sale where I bought the 15 vintage dresses. So this was one of those items. As you know, they originally wanted 170 for the 15 dresses and I got them down to 120. So this is an $8 apron. That is a lot of money to spend on a vintage apron if you plan on reselling it. And that's what for a lot of these I plan on doing. So um, a vintage apron is going to cost around 12 to eight, 12 to fifteen dollars when you buy it when you purchase it online and those are the cute ones um, they can go for as low as seven dollars like for the ugly ones or if they're stained up or kind of ratty um so there's not a lot of wiggle room like for when you pay up on prices like this but I'm probably gonna have to charge about 18 22 whatever I have to figure it out for this one because you don't want to lose money. Um, I love vintage aprons. I have loved them for a very long time, so I'm not going to stop selling them because they're difficult to resell. Um, I have, I have fun with it. Plus there's some that I want, so I'm getting something from the, you know, the, the buying them in bulk, but it's just what is what it is. Anyway, these guys, the, the ones that you saw, I think there's seven of them. I paid $5 each for them. Um, and th so it was $35 for the ones right here. So this is one of them.